Ballarat agents conducted their um, monthly sale on Friday. Uh, James Hadrick joins me. Uh, James, uh, a different colour of uh, cattle here today. Uh, a lot of uh, red cattle here. and uh, But the depth in the buying field was shown up uh, as in affecting the season. Oh, yeah, for certain, for certain Murray. Um, what we saw first off, we actually uh, we led with some, uh, some Hereford steers. First time in Ballarat for probably quite some time and uh, they were quite evident throughout the yarding, um, as well as some uh, Euro cross cattle also. Yeah, now uh, the, the market was uh, a little bit uh, hard to pick, it ebbed and flowed a little bit. Cattle that were up on weight, you know, in that uh, good feeder weight and uh, good condition, um, really uh, took another step forward and was just a little bit dearer than what we saw in the, uh, in the uh, early February markets. Yeah, for sure. In our uh, in our associated agents' uh, February sale, the, uh, the the best winners or the best cattle with weight certainly showed a little bit of a lift. And anything that was off the top was probably a shade cheaper or even just firm on uh, on February's rates. Yeah, buying field. Uh, surprisingly enough, we're starting to see now that the the uh, season is affecting the buying field. There's a few holes in the buying field today too. Yeah, there were. There were. Like you, as, as we saw today, like it was probably one of Ballarat's smallest buying fields that we've seen for quite some time. And that's just a thing of what's happening around. Uh, the traps like even further north and, and even in the south and southeast. Yeah, the money we saw today, the uh, the big grown steers, the Hereford steers, sold in and around that two dollars to two dollars ten. Yep, yeah, well, I think everyone will be quite pleased with the way that the uh, the uh, heavier cattle sold. Um, like you know, I don't think there'll be any complaints on today's today's rate. Yeah, the uh, black weaners, uh, no prisoners taken there. Uh, 260, 250, 260 for there, uh, which was uh, colossal rates uh, as long as you had condition on them. Yes, uh, quality sold, and that's what it was. Uh, well, that's what it boiled down to. If you had condition and you had uh, had quality in the stock, they certainly made the rate. Yeah, the, the, the cattle have slipped back around the 230s and 240s. I thought there were holes in the market there today where, where we saw chances. Um, and and look, you know, and and good on them. Like if they found a found a chance today, but. Um, Look, you know, that's, that's just what's happening. Like, people just don't want to take those sort of lighter cattle through the dry times. Yeah. When we got onto the heifer market, it was almost as if the market changed gears. The the, um, the enthusiasm uh, returned, and the heifer market was very, very solid on uh, what we'd seen through February. Yeah, especially especially on the uh, on the top end again, as we saw today, like like those better, those better end of the heifers there today, sold particularly well. Like, and, like you know, well, TFI supported the job very well, and, um, and like, yeah, they, they made everything sort of happen. Yeah, $2 to $2.20 on a lot of those heifers. Yeah, uh, comfortable, I'd say, um, yeah. on, on what I saw today. Yeah, and uh, th but there was a little bit of a hole in that mid-weighted heifer too at the same time. They were just lacking a little bit of uh, grass inquiry. Not too many went back out onto, uh, or locally, um, and as we saw, like oh, we had a little bit of competition from the Gippsland, Gippsland fraternity, but other than that, like it was really purely and solely driven on the on the feeders. Yeah, and there, there was a, quite a number of um, uh, late spring drop calves here today that uh, you know were in that um, uh, sub uh, 250 kilo range. They sold pretty well actually for what for their weight and their age. Yeah, yeah, look. Uh, I, I thought they could have made a little bit more some of the cattle, but then once you did drop off onto those sort of lighter end, the real lighter end, I thought they sort of held their rate. 